cursed games you should never play part 23 ghost paper challenge with this game you can ask a ghost three questions to play this game you should turn off all lights before 3 a.m go into a room close the door and light a candle 3 a.m knock on the door three times and say this spirit of the door i welcome you make yourself present and come through now write your question on a piece of paper and slide it halfway under the door with the pen on the paper after a few minutes if the paper remains where it was then you should try again if the paper is gone then the ghost is writing you a message but if the paper does not reappear then try again next time and of course if the paper returns then read the message and you should ask only three questions to end the game thank the ghost and then blow out the candle but don't open the door until daylight what would you ask cursed games you should never play part 6 baby blue play the game first go to your bathroom close the door and turn the lights off now look into the mirror and pretend that you're holding a baby next you have to say baby blue blue baby 13 times then you will feel the baby in your arms and you will have to flush the baby down the toilet and do it as fast as possible because if you don't a woman will appear in the mirror and start screaming at you to give her baby back to her a woman can come out of the mirror and even kill you i don't know what's the actual point of the game but would you play it cursed games you should never play part 9 the dark reflection ritual the point of this game is to boost your luck but in order to do that you have to go through a night of terrible bad luck first you need to get a mirror like a small handheld mirror look at your reflection in the eyes for a few seconds and while you do that you need to focus on all your bad and negative energy and breathe that energy into the mirror until it fogs out completely then you hold the mirror to a burning flame until it creates a black smudge then you will have to smash the mirror please don't do this or any of this so now the rest of the night will be the worst night you had bad luck will follow you everywhere and will get worse and worse as the night goes on if you manage to survive and not die until the morning you will have extremely good luck and the game will give you success to anything you do would you play the game games you should never play part 14 the dry bones game this game could get you anything you can dream of but you're putting yourself at risk for losing your mind being killed or worse to prepare close all the doors and windows in your house and then turn off all the lights again at exactly 1201 go into your bathroom and look into the mirror make sure everything is silent if you hear anything he is already there think of something you want this will be your prize if you win. Strike a match and wait for it to burn out on its own. If it lasts more than 15 seconds, you may continue. Lie down on the floor and recite these words. I am aware of your presence and I welcome you into my home. Go into the biggest room in your house and wait. To know that the game is officially started, you will hear a moan. If you hear anything else, abort. Once you hear this, run to your hiding spot and stay there, but remain completely silent. Remain in this place until 3 a.m. Once this time comes, go back to the biggest room in your house and say thank you for playing, but you must leave now. You are no longer welcome. If you did this right, you will hear another groan signifying that you won, and your prize will be at the door. Terrifying Games You Don't Want to Play Part 26 Death's Gambit This game should only be played as a last resort as it leaves your fate entirely up to luck. With that being said, if you win, you will have good fortune for life. But if you lose, your fate will be worse than death. To play the game, you'll need a deck of cards, two chairs, a window, and something to write with. You'll need to wait until sunset before placing one of the chairs inside facing the window and the other chair outside. Next, you'll need to sit down inside and begin to shuffle the cards while saying the words, I leave my fate up to luck. After you have done this several times, if you hear an unusually loud gust of wind, that means that the other player has arrived, the Grim Reaper. From this point on, the game is simple. Place two cards face down on the windowsill. One is for you, and the other is for death. Whichever one is higher scores a point. You'll need to keep track of these points, and once you run out of cards, whoever has more of them wins. But be careful not to take your eyes off the paper. Death has a nasty habit of cheating. And if you lose, he'll claim your soul. Comment whether or not you would play this game and follow for more. Cursed games you should never play. Part 8. The Stairs Game. To play this game you will need a blindfold and a staircase. Now stand on the very bottom step and put your blindfold on. Now say the words, it is from here, whenceforth I shall commence. Go up the staircase and count every step you go up. Now do the same for going down. You're just basically getting your cardio in at this point. Eventually when you go down there will be more steps than usual. You'll start to sweat and you'll hear voices all around you. If this happens, you are officially in the underworld. Keep your blindfold on throughout this process, but soon you'll hear a deep voice asking for whatever you want. 
Once you answer him, you'll return to the real world. But at any point in this process, if you fall, you'll stay there forever. Imzu should never play on Roblox. Please. If you join this game, you will automatically spawn in a hotel. And no matter what you do, you cannot find the exit. Once you go down the elevator, you see a door with a number on it. Once you go through the door, there is no coming back. In some rooms, it's dark, and you have to watch out for the creatures that will chase you. In another room, there is a monster that breaks the lights to attack you. So try not to get caught. Once you reach a room with a high number on it, you will see a creature with an eye on its head. And it will chase you. After you reach room 50, you will have to pass this creature. When you reach level 100, you win. But after that, you're stuck. These are cursed games you should never play, part 55. This one is called The Man in the Fields. First of all, you will need to have a backyard. If you win this game, you will be safe physically, financially and in any other way for one year. You should begin after sunset. Light a lantern, go to your backyard and face your house. Now say, but who will scare the crows away seven times? If you hear a whisper, then the summoning was successful. Return to your house, close the door and don't look back. Your mission is to close everything that is capable of opening, like drawers or doors, before midnight. If you see a man with your peripheral vision, don't look at him. And don't look into the backyard no matter what. Because there will be a scarecrow that will hunt you down if you look at it. When you're sure that you closed everything, go to sleep if you can. If you wake up the next morning, you won. But if you don't, then you're probably dead. Cursed Games You Should Never Play Part 4 The Devil's Dog you can do it by yourself or in a group of four with one person in the middle. You close your eyes, you hunch into a little ball and say Devil's dog, Satan, bring me devil's dog. And you say that over and over again until you feel scratches in your back. Now you have been marked by the hellhounds. Now they will provide you with protection but it also will be cursed. But we don't know the consequences yet. Cursed games should never play part 21. The corner game. This is a game to test if you have demons and ghosts in your house. This game is played with 4 people and you will need a room with 4 corners. First turn off the lights everywhere, then enter the room that you will be playing and say your name out loud 3 times. And you must choose a leader. Now you should choose one corner. You should stand there facing the wall. Now the leader should count to 3. Now all of you rotate clockwise to the next corner. And remember, do not speak during the game. While playing, an extra person may appear. Do not speak to that person. To end the game, go to the light switch all together, say your names backwards three times and then turn on the lights. Exit the room and close the door. Also, give it some time before you enter the room again. First games you should never play, part 51. Kurokami Sama is a game of revenge. If you are deemed worthy, your enemies will suffer and you will thrive. Start the game at midnight. Choose a location and position yourself as high up as possible. Now pull a strand of hair from your own head. Hold it in your hand and speak the name of the person who mistreated you. And repeat aloud everything that this person has done to you. When you finish, say let my grudge be cleared. Face the night and say Kurokami Sama, I beseech you to avenge my wrongs. And if you are deemed worthy, your enemies will suffer and you will thrive. But don't abuse the gifts because they can be reversed. Terrifying Cursed Games You Should Never Play Part 2 The Man in the Fields Game If you win this game, you will be granted physical and financial protection for an entire year. But if you lose, the consequences could be dire. To begin this game, you must summon the man in the fields. To do this, you'll need to go into your backyard with a lantern and ask seven times, but who will scare the crows away? If you hear nothing after the seventh time, then the summoning has failed and the game is over. But if you hear a voice in your head saying, that's not your biggest problem, the game has begun. At this point, the first thing you'll need to do is go into your house and find a room with only one door. You'll need to close everything in it that can be closed. This includes drawers, bags, etc. This will be your safe room. Once you leave this room, you will find that everything that can be opened in your house will be open, and your job is to close all these items again before the clock strikes 12. If you see a shadowy man in your peripheral vision, ignore him. He's not the one you should be worried about. However, if you look at the backyard at all, even accidentally, you'll need to return to your safe room immediately and remain there until 6am. Otherwise, you'll be caught by the man in the fields. Finally, once you have closed everything else in the house, close your eyes and keep them closed until 6am. This will end the game. Comment whether or not you would play this game and follow for more.